Hi there, Joka here, and I'm back with a new video showing you a few projects with the uh, spare binders, um, Birdhouses Through the Seasons collection uh, that was designed by Vicky Papayoanu. And if you remember, um, I had a video earlier, I think in the summer or maybe already even before that, with um, the Build a Summer um, Birdhouse set and I loved that that so much that I really wanted to create more and now I have the this is the summer um, set and I want to create more with the winter and the fall sets plus the the birds obviously so um, I'm starting out by uh, creating a few birds and for this this I used a few of the spa binders pink uh, color range cardstock um, i will link everything i use in this video in the description box below because i never remember names and never remember um i, I don't know I, I i just don't remember product names i'm really bad at it so um i will show you some other dyes i used in this video as well which I really don't even recall what they are named. Um, I get samples and they don't have, you know, the the packaging, so I don't, I don't have the name, but I will look them up for you. So anyway, um, here you can see how I put the birds together. Um, they are very very simple to to put together. They only have a few pieces to them, and they are uh, entirely straightforward. Um, you know, you, you can just see when you um, see the dyes. Why you see me layering some together? I just want to give them uh, some dimension plus. Um, also, um, I die cut them from multiple colors because I didn't, I never know what color I want to go with. And then I don't want to waste um what i already die cut and i know that i uh most probably will not uh come back to the same um set again i mean i probably will use the same dyes but maybe i i will want to use a different color scheme so you know not to waste it i just uh put all the layers together and they create a really nice dimension as well and for uh, some other things that I know that I want to use, um, either I want to use some um, foam tape on or I just want to create a little bit more dimension. I always back everything with heavyweight card, uh, white cardstock. And here I die cut this house as well from different um, colors because I didn't know what I want to go with. And so I ended up using the pattern paper one. You cannot see the nice embossing in pattern paper as much as you can see it in the um, plain color cardstock. But, you know, I love using pattern paper anyway. So that's why I went with this. The normal, just like the plain pink didn't uh, feel like it was me. <laughs> so this cute house <laughs> it looks like a pumpkin right <laughs> i really love it so i'm uh using this this uh wood piece here is actually from the summer uh birdhouse kit i think and so um i i just use that one here for um my birdhouse to stand on and i added some of the these snow pieces which you could add some or or just die cut it from glitter cardstock, I think. I don't know why I forget it all the time. Um, this is the, like, I literally only remembered now that I could have done that. It would have been a nice texture and a little bit of sparkle. But I somehow I always forget to use uh, glitter. So um, I'm creating kind of like a scene, you know, just a... A little bit of snow in the background and um, for this I used 
a die set that's from one of the um, new Christmas collections. Uh, again, I don't, I'm sorry, I just don't remember uh, the name. Um, for my background paper, I used um, a pattern paper from Alexandra Renke. Actually, the light pink is from her as well, that I used for the house. And also the paper that I used for the poinsettia, it's a dark red with some white uh, little hearts on it. So this is kind of what I'm going for. And just trying to figure out what color I want that heart, but I didn't want to add more red. So yeah, and now I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with the poinsettia. So bear with me here. I'm. It always takes me a while to decide on certain things, totally unimportant things, obviously, but um, yeah, it takes me some time. Okay, so uh, for, to some of the pieces, like the birds, I'm adding some uh, foam tape and also to one of the snow banks here that's in the foreground just to so that, you know, I have that layer of wood behind it. I didn't want um, my, my paper to be all warped on top, so I just decided to add foam tape. Um, on both sides and now I'm fluffing up my leaves and the flower gluing down the snowbank and then it's almost um, done I just wanted to add uh, an enamel dot in the center of that flower and I'm gonna set this aside because I couldn't decide yet what I want to do with the uh, or for the sentiment now the other one, actually this house is the the fall um, house and I want to hang that on some branches there and one of these sets have um, has a, a bow, I think that's probably the Christmas set. So that's what I'm creating now. Um, to be honest, the... Um, this Spabinders cardstock is very thick, which is great, um, but it's hard to, at least for me, uh, it might be, there might be some trick to it. Maybe I should have sprayed some water on it um, to, to, you know, to roll that bow in a nicer way. Um, with pattern paper, I normally don't have that problem. That's thinner and you can shape it easier. Um, okay, so now I'm trying to create two branches here. I kind of just didn't like having a single one. So, um, and, the, and then I'm going to add the house there with the bow. And then I will try to figure out where to put my birds. I did not quite know here yet. Now I am adding this little... Uh, window shutters. I wanted to have a red heart, so I'm just layering that uh, behind. And again, you know, I, why you see me layer uh, several of these elements is because I wanted everything to be flush. So my house was already two layers of cardstock, so I had to make sure that everything else is two layers as well. I'm adding a little snow uh, there. And now I'm trying to figure out where to put my birds. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to add three at least <laughs> because they are so cute. So um, this, um, what's it called, sentiment strip here is, um, again, I will link that in. It, it's it's one of those hot foil sentiment sets and I use the Crimson Stars um, foil on it which is my favorite especially for holiday uh, projects and then I used another set here um, uh, from from this one I, I used um, that die to die cut the uh, sentiment out but the sentiment itself is from another 
um, die set or glimmer hot foil plate set. And I will sit one of my birds um, on top of that one and another one on the snow um, at the bottom of the house. And then one of them is going to be sitting in the snow um, on top of that branch there. So I can have my three birds. I had to remove the legs from that one so that it fits in the space that I had. So that card is done. And now I pulled out this really, really super sweet set. It's called uh, Jolly Mitten Mouse, I think. I will link that in. And at the moment I am recording this, it's actually half price. So it's super cool. And I'm using this um, red, um, what do you call this, metallic cardstock. It's a satin cardstock from Tonic Studios. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, of course, it doesn't really, you know, my camera doesn't really pick up the color. And my, um, here in the video, it's actually better than the final photos will be somehow my camera just doesn't pick them up um so what i did here if you can see um so jolly comes from that mitten mouse set and then i as i was going through my um dies i was looking for something else i found this little kit i i don't know um again i don't have packaging for this I don't know what it's called. I didn't see it on the Spabinders homepage anymore, but it has holiday in it. And it's exactly the same font and the same size as the Jolly. So I kind of engineered something together here. So I just took the H of the, the holiday to create Holly Jolly because I wanted to have a longer sentiment okay so those two cards are done and now moving on to the fall uh, themed cards and for this one um i'm gonna be using mostly the new page evans collection which is a fall collection called bungalow lane um it has really beautiful fall colors and patterns and obviously i'm also going to be using some spa binders card stock here like these two browns um and then this one is from the this house is from the fall um, set and i use some pattern paper for that one and you can see the shutters here i put differently than on the first cards and now there is this little piece here that hole at the bottom of the house i figured i i just layered something like seven eight of those circles on top of each other and then it's like a stick coming out where a bird could stand i, I don't know if that has a name <laughs> but um that was my idea so that's that's like a dimensional piece there now this part these uh letters are coming from uh the october 2021 um either the small or the large dike i think maybe the large one I don't remember. Um, but anyway, it's this month's um, kit. So I am just adding that as a sentiment there. And to finish uh, off this card, I die cut a few of the leaves. This, these also come with the um, birdhouse, the full, full birdhouse set. So I'm just... Um, I die cut a lot of them from various um, color card stocks. And then I'm just randomly trying to place them at the bottom. And then, of course, I only realize later, I, I, I'm kind of like a machine, you know, I start doing something and then I don't even look at it. I'm just doing it. So I'm gluing down these leaves, but I wasn't even looking at the fact that I'm covering up the whole um, bottom of that, the, the wood piece that stand that the birdhouse is on and it really should be sticking out because it I don't know it looked so much nicer but I only noticed this when I took photos of the card so I I don't know sometimes 
my mind is, um, <laughs> I don't know, just elsewhere. But anyway, um, it's all good. It's just paper, right? Um, now I'm just trimming off the excess and then this card, I believe, is uh, done. Now, um, oh no, it's not. <laughs> so, of course, you cannot have enough leaves. So I'm trying to figure out if I can add some at the top and I believe I will add three of them just for an accent there I never know when to stop embellishing to be honest with you so I had a lot remaining a lot of these leaves so you know I don't want to waste now the other one uh, here I want to hang the the birdhouse from this branch again I believe th these are different branches um, not the same as the the ones I used on the the winter card and one of them comes I think maybe with the the winter set and the other one with the birds um, I mean the branches but I don't remember which one I think this one is uh, comes with the birds and then I cannot figure out how to put the second one. <laughs> you know, I I just didn't want it to be like a single uh, branch there. But yeah, I guess I will decide on something at some point. Okay, so once this is done, I'm going to try to put everything together. Now, these papers uh, that I used for the house are also from... Um, the bungalow lane collection and you can see that I die cut the the top of the house from a different uh, pattern paper I just wanted to add an accent to it and not just to, you know the like the side of the roof but also I felt like I needed something in the middle as well and now I'm just trying to add some of these leaves with the bow and Again, I totally layered them differently than what I originally planned. I saw that again when I was taking the pictures. And <laughs> I don't know, my mind just draws a blank at times. Okay, so um, now my bird. And again, I created that little stick there that I created on the other card as well that the bird can stand on. And now I am going to add a sentiment again. It's the same as um as on the previous card which was one of the die kits this month and this time i'm only using the thanks part because i wanted to add it at the um left side of the of this strip and then i wanted to add some um colorful leaves there on the right so yeah that's gonna finish this card as well and since i die cut these leaves from many different colors it's always hard to decide which ones to go with i always want to add all of them but then it would have been a, a bit too much so i've just ended up using four of them and i think i used four leaves at the top as well so not on purpose actually but yeah kind of symmetrical okay so it's done i hope i could give you some ideas um with these really really cute sets i absolutely love them and i hope i will have time to work with them some more so these are the full cards and then i will show you the winter themes themed cards as well and you will see that it just doesn't well it does shine a little bit that the card stock there but in the final photo it won't unfortunately but anyway i hope i could give you some inspiration and thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you next time bye bye